Welcome to today's extra festive vlog. I'm going to be discussing what the Bible says about feminism. And can you be Christian and a feminist? And the answer is yes, because get this, there were actually feminists in the Bible. I kid you not. So today I'll be discussing um, some of those feminists in the Bible, those those crazy women who set out for equality. And actually, these women didn't, like, go against any rules in the Bible at all. Uh, the Bible actually says in Galatians 3.28 that there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. So to break that down for you, uh, not fancy old-time people, it means that everybody's equal in the eyes of God. So everybody's equal. So fighting for equality actually goes along with exactly what God says. So feminism is actually encouraged, believe it or not. But anyway, back to some of the craziest women in the Bible. Uh, now their story is found in Numbers chapter 27. And it's honestly insane. So there are the five daughters of Zelophedad, and have fun with that name. <laughs> um, but they came to, uh, you guys probably know Moses, he, he was this big fancy prophet dude. Anyway, anyway, they came to Moses with a concern over how the promised land was going to be divided in relation to their family, like um, inheritance-wise, because at that point they were the only um, living relatives of their father. There were no sons to take over the inheritance or anything so it was just up to them and because they actually spoke up and like reversed the the precedent they actually got possession of their father's inheritance which was unheard of at the time these young w women stood fearless and firm and as a result actually reformed the culture of their day the case of of their his daughters expanded the legal rights of women in this time. Before this, women weren't really allowed to have inheritance or weren't really allowed to be in control of money, but due to them, they actually changed the laws and the social dynamics of the land. So much so that women were now included in the lists of eligible heirs for property. So that is just insane. The fact that five young girls came to a leader and said, hey, this isn't right. We would like to have a say in this. And then they got that say. And I just think that's so crazy incredible. So yeah, you can be a feminist and be a Christian. As long as you remember the most important rule, Mark 12, 31, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Because I think that's what feminism really is about. You know, feminism is the, the benefit of others and equality for all. You know, it's a range of political movements, ideologies, and social movements that all share a common goal, you know, to, to define, establish, and achieve political, economic, personal, and social equality uh, between sexes. And I think the Bible agrees with that. So yeah, you can be a Christian. And a feminist. Let's have fun. <laughs> I brought this up because Handmaid's Tale is actually focused on religion a lot. Like, Offred always walks by the church when she gets groceries. And uh, they always have to start sentences off with blessed be his name and all that. Uh, I just think it's crazy how they, they took religion in that context and used it, and used it to distort something. Whereas in, in reality, Christianity wants to better people. So yeah, those are the thoughts for the day. This is this has been a Kate's Christmas corner. Come back later if you want to hear more thoughts. If you don't, Merry Christmas <laughs> and a Happy New Year.